Hello and welcome back again everybody. Uh, today we're going to have a little quickie teardown. And what do we have on the plate for today? We have the wheel. Not just any wheel, the wheel. And um, if you haven't seen these before, what this is is a locking wheel that they use in shopping carts in uh, some stores and this prevents the, it's supposed to prevent the carts from uh, vanishing from the parking lot. You know, like people take them elsewhere and just dump them and leave them there. And uh, the way this works is this uh, replaces one of the wheels on the shopping cart and it's got these uh, flat like notched areas here that would attach to whatever it is that holds the wheel on there. And when it gets past like a certain boundary in the source parking lot, this locks and it prevents the wheel from rotating so it makes the shopping cart hard the shopping cart harder to push and you know potentially like frustrating whoever's trying to remove it from the parking lot uh, it looks like this someone's been dragging this one around I found this one on the side of the road and I thought it'd be interesting to do a little tear down and see what's inside of it here's like a big flat spot right here so it's, it's somebody like was obviously like dragging it pretty bad enough to flatten that up uh, it's got 10 screws here. I'm going to remove those. Um, the way I th think these work is that, the, and especially like in the parking lots that have this system um, set up, is uh, you can actually see a, a line that's been cut throughout the parking lot. And I think what they must do is they install like a wire or something that basically ends up being a big loop like all around the parking lot of the store. So anytime one of these like you know goes past that that line, it activates it to to lock. So uh, we're gonna open it up and uh, see what's inside. Let's uh, t start taking these off. Holy crap, these are tight. There we go. So inside of this thing, there's got to be some sort of a locking mechanism to lock the the center hub here to the rest of the wheel and there's going to be a battery of some sort to power the thing because I really don't think it's powered by you know whatever um, triggers the thing and they obviously got to have some way to unlock it so let's see what's see what we find in here and this uh, is only it looks like it's built in only two parts it looks like this one's a kind of like a like a tub and then this uh, here's just a a lid that holds the whole thing shut and then it's just got this rubber uh, lining the outside of it to for grip. It's got these two screws left here. Okay. And that should do it. So let's get this thing off of here. It's a little tight but it's coming up. There it goes. Okay, so the bearings mounted on each one of the sides here, and then this center hub just comes up, and it's it's actually it's locked right now. So at some point, somebody was pushing it out, and it locked. And looks like it's got well, here's a motor, and it's got some gear reduction, and then it's uh, you can see it in there. It's got a worm drive. It, Come on. There it is. Got a worm drive in there. And uh, looks like this piece right here, this whole sort of a ring that goes around has uh, these little teeth and these grooves and then the outside of the wheel has these little notches. So what it looks like happens is that this pushes up against that and it locks this center hub with the rest of the the wheel. So if we rotate this backwards, let's see which way would it go. Um, looks like it should. Looks like it should go that way. Or we can unlock it. Yeah, it's starting to, looks like it's starting to bring the, yeah, it's starting to bring this in. So, 
it should loosen up eventually. You can already tell that it's getting loose. Now it can actually rotate a bit, but it's still grabbing a bit. Let's do a little more. And there we go. Now it's now it's loose. Now it freely rotate. Well, no, not quite. It needs a little more. There, it's mostly loose now. So yeah, this would the center hub would be the one that would be attached to the cart so now this can freely rotate so when this thing would get activated it would make that motor spin in the opposite direction and push this outward so that it, this uh, locks it in place and looks pretty basic in here there's not a whole lot of stuff it's got a little DC motor this is a, um, a 3 volt lithium battery and it's obviously an industrial one mm, got a little it's probably a microcontroller right there. Um, let me get the macro lens and we can look it up, look at it up close a little better. All right, I cleaned off a lot of dust that was on this thing here. Uh, the whole board is potted in like some silicone material, including the battery. The only thing that comes out is the two wires for the motor, and uh, that's pretty much it. Everything else is like self-contained in this um, silicone. So I. You can kind of see the markings on the microcontroller here. It's a microchip branded microcontroller, and as yeah, you can you can you can actually read the numbers through here. It says 12LC671. So that's uh, going to be what's uh, controlling everything. Uh, these down here appear to be they're probably two um, half H bridge drivers since uh, there's like one of each of these going to the motor and um, not a whole lot else there's one of the contacts for the battery that would be the positive side goes in there it's just some uh, little bypass cap apparently got some resistors up here um, you see the two wires coming down from the microcontroller here going into the H bridge drivers so it's it's really so it's a really basic setup. You got this uh, pin right here on top. It looks like it would be pin. That looks like pin one on the left uh, bottom side there. So that one up here would be pin five, and it looks like it comes out, comes down underneath these wires, comes across. Oh, and actually, you can see right here it says wheel lock receiver, and it comes to this. Uh, little five pin device here and that says U1 so I don't know what that is I can't really read the markings on there mm, well so this is probably what's sending it the signal back um, this one here looks like a power trace it's pretty thick mm, comes up here got a few transistors C7 here so R10 of L1. L1 is probably going to be a some sort of a coil or or something. That's what probably picks up the signal, and then it sends it to these uh, transistors here, probably to be amplified. Looks like some of this uh, feeds back into that six-pin device or five-pin device there through some of these uh, resistors and caps. So this is probably what's taking care of uh, um, making sure that it receives the right signal and then passes it on to the microcontroller to tell it to lock or unlock the wheels depending on what it receives. I don't know what frequency this works at or anything and I have like no way to unlock it or even activate it so um, unless I was able to find some information on it I, I wouldn't be able to get this to do anything. All we can do is pretty much just look at it. Um, just lithium battery and of course they would use a lithium battery because it would have longer life than like say alkalines or whatever so yeah not a whole lot of stuff in here but pretty uh interesting this whole assembly actually comes out if you push it I just uh, realized that so that's the underside of it like nothing there except you can see the the worm drive here and then as you turn this it pushes up on this um, 
the piece right there that's threaded for that and then it just pushes up against these two bars so these are the ones that as they're pushing out they expand this ring for it to lock they also obviously don't want any water or anything getting into this thing so they've used some gaskets here like these little rings there's one there you got one there and those just seal up against the, the casing so it prevents uh, too much water or anything from getting in there around the outside of this here they've got the the rubber it looks like this is all just molded in there and this uh, basically seals the lid on there so that it prevents more water from getting in through that side so it's kind of hard to tell on the video here but if you kind of look in the on the edge of that circuit board right there underneath the under where the battery is there's a just a little inductor so that's what L1 is and I bet that's that's being used as an antenna I don't think I'm gonna bother depotting this thing it's just gonna make a mess I want to remove all that crap and I mean there's really not a whole lot to see apparently there's really not any uh, there really isn't very many components underneath or anything if at all because there's like no vias on this board at all and the only one I don't see um, anything happening with is the negative terminal of the battery here but I bet that one of those probably goes to that and then the other one looks like it probably comes up right here to this capacitor and this one's probably the positive so yeah there's really not going to be anything underneath this so um, this was really simple and I like I said it was just a little quick tear down so kind of hope you found it interesting um, seeing what was inside of one of these things if you were wondering so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time